So if you watched my last repair video for the Rhino, you'll know that my tailpipe was sticking and my brakes was uh, getting hot and it melted my, it busted my caliper piston, basically the seals out of it. And I thought it was just a caliper. I'd replaced the line already. And I thought it was just a caliper, uh, but it still does it. It's not near as bad. So I've read a couple places saying that the master cylinder would do this and it would get sort of crud in it and you could take the master cylinder apart and clean it. So I'm going to try and do that today. We're going to see where it heads. If it don't clean uh, out, there's, I think it's like $200 for a new one. So I'm hopeful that I can just take it apart, get maybe some junk or something out of it and it works fine. Or I might just have a seal or something stuck. So I'm going to start on that tear down. All right. So my first step to getting this out was I removed the pin out of the clevis that goes to your brake pedal. It's just got a cotter pin that goes through the end of this pin. And you can see the little hole there. Uh, I usually use a, I use these side cutters to get mine out. I usually just sort of straighten it up the best I can, just pull it straight out. Uh, you can get just like little assorted kits for like $10 of those pins if you want to have a set to keep. Uh, they go all, in all sorts of pieces here and there. Like axle nuts and all that. So it'd be handy to have a set if you don't want to reuse this one or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to reuse mine. So I got that. My next step's going to be get taking the lines loose. Now that line is your line that goes to your back. I, I'm going to assume. I don't think there's... It looks like there's a, there's a T right there for the front and the back's just one cylinder or one line. So I've got a 10 for my line nut here that goes to the back. This is a 12 millimeter head. The two bolts that mount it are a 12 millimeter head also. And it feels like these nuts are welded. I oh, can't really see they're good. It feels like, well, you can see the weld there actually. They're welded, so you should just have to be able to Get a ratchet or whatever wrench, whatever your choice of tool is, in there to take them loose. I'm also going to assume when I take this loose, all this brake fluid will drain out. Not 100% sure. I don't know what that brake fluid looks like. It's kind of clean, but whatever. You never know. So I'll do that, and then we'll get on the bench and see what we can. All right. So that. Uh, I can't get my cap to come off. It looks like it's just, it may be heated and shoved on there or something. Or maybe it's just where mine's older. That clamp's a 10 millimeter. And it, I mean, it'll rotate, but it's caught up right there. You just back it out and that clamp will rotate. Uh, that bolt I pointed out is a 10 millimeter also. There we go. I'm not sure what it does. As you can see, it looks like that. I don't know what you would call that. The piece sticking above the threads here. Looks like it's bent a little bit. But I... It may... Uh, you can't really tell. It sort of looks like it may have been broken or something. I'm not 100% sure. I'm trying to figure it all out here. <laughs> but none of that helps take it apart like I thought it would. So this little circlet just sits here. I'll get the camera right. But the circlip just, it's first thing right here. It's got grease over it. You have to wipe the grease off on mine anyways I did. And uh, so you'll take that out. Then this end, the, I guess this is the end that rod sticks into that comes off your brake. It'll come out like this. It'll be shoved in there like this and the spring will come out. That's all I've got out so far. Uh, mine, I had to actually grab the little plunger in and rip it off. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, that pile of stuff actually came out of it uh, between these two seals. So, I don't know which side that would be. If that's like for just the front side or the back side or what. Uh, a little bit more oil coming out of it, actually. Or brake fluid, I'm sorry. This camera will not stay focused. There's more going on. That's pretty dirty stuff. So, 
my next thing is to figure out how to get if there's maybe more up in there I can see another piece up in there but I don't know if it comes out or not so that's where I'm at up to this got that last piece out I just turned my master cylinder up and tapped it like that till it got near the end and I use these pliers to grab it and pull it out. Let me get the end up here and I'll show you what it looks like. So I got that sticking pretty close to the end, grabbed a hold of it. I, so basically it'll be sitting, when you put it back together, that's how it'll set. Um, so I got all the junk cleaned out of it. I cleaned my inside here. You can tell it looks a lot better. Uh, can't really get that in good line. But it helped that quite a bit too, getting all the junk out of it. I had a brown residue to it a while ago. So now I'm gonna put it all back together. <laughs> and like I said, you'll basically just, oh, I need to clean them up still, but just sort of shove them back up in that way. Then I'll have to put my clip back in and that bolt of some sort. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and we'll bleed it on the machine, I would say after that. Um, might bleed it by hand just off the machine just because it might be easier. Uh, won't be able to do the, uh, fight back on the machine, I won't be able to reach through like the door and stuff to do it. So might be easier to just hold it up there pretty close, do it, and then hook my lines up. I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to get it, put it back together and then I'll come back for that. All right. So I got it back together. Uh, ended up, I did stick my, bolt it up and stick my rod back in it, uh, just because it still wouldn't work right by the time I've been that line and stuff, that middle line that goes to the back. So what I done was, you know, obviously I had my cap off, I filled my fluid up, and I was pumping it, it didn't have no travel in the pedal, and I just couldn't figure out what was wrong. So, I got fooling around, fooling around, and I thought about that screw that I, or the bolt I'll say. I took out earlier that had that little piece sticking off the end of it and so what you do is that goes holds that back half the last section you pull out it holds it in this side of the uh, spring or in the chamber maybe uh, I don't know what you'd call it but back in the hole uh, so what I done to get that was I had a piece of pipe and I lost it against my brake pedal and the uh, plastic piece under the seat to hold that all that stuff in. Uh, of course, I took the bolt out before I'd done that. I'm sorry. So I pulled the bolt out, and then I done that, and then I put the bolt back in, and it, it works great now. Uh, so I had to work around that, figure that out a few minutes before I could get it to bleed. And one thing is, when you start bleeding, you want to make sure you get all the air out of them. I haven't bled back to the caliper. I, you probably more than likely you should really. Uh, I'm not going to at this time. We'll see how they work before I do that. So I bled out of these two fittings so I had real good fluid. Make sure you don't hear no spurts of air or anything when you crack them loose. And make sure it's a good fluid, good consistent fluid flow. Um, so there's that. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt just to flush the whole system honestly but. So I got my two bolts back in there already. I tightened that clamp up earlier. Uh, make sure you tighten these up good. Uh, that one's a flare fitting and that one has uh, the copper. I believe they're copper washers. Uh, has one on the bolt head side here and one towards the master cylinder side. Uh, and, you know, if you want to, you could, you should probably, you know, you, uh, if you want to, you probably order those through Rocky Mountain or your dealer or whoever. Uh, I've never had much trouble out of reseating the sets that, that come with it. Uh, and that's sort of a spur of the moment thing. So I done, you know, like I said, I just used them over. Got my brake pedal stuff back together. So appreciate